Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's requested video, I wanna share with you which YSL Libre will be right for you. I have all of them except for one. I don't have the EDT, but I definitely know how it smells. I've had samples, I've smelled it a thousand times in store. So I can definitely give you my opinion on that one as well. So if you're interested in knowing about YSL Libre and which one is right for you, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you leave me your scent of the day. Now, jumping right in, guys, I love YSL Libre, okay? Like, spoiler alert, I love all of them. Now, the first one that I purchased was in 2019, and it was the YSL Libre EDP. This was the original one, the very first one that came out. As you can see, I was so overzealous. I purchased the big bottle because the bottle was just so gorgeous to me. I haven't seen anything like it at the time and I love YSL, I'm a YSL fan and I love the logo and this is like the actual gold YSL logo that they put on the bags and I was just so excited about it. And then when I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, like this smells so good. It's very fresh and effervescent to me, but not, in a fresh like summer airy light type of scent it's fresh because of the lavender you definitely smell the lavender in this fragrance now i'm not a fan of lavender like it's not like i love fragrances with lavender um i prefer not to have lavender actually because when i think of lavender i think of bedtime or household cleaning or something like that but in a fragrance i was never like oh it has lavender i want that fragrance but I smell it in this fragrance and it just works. Now, a lot of women think that this one leans more masculine on their skin. And I'm assuming it's because of that lavender note. It smells more unique in my opinion. It smells like more bossy. It smells like a boss chick. You know what I mean? It's not a pretty girl frou-frou la la type of scent. Although to me it's feminine, but it's not a pretty girl scent. Do you know what I mean? It's a more boss, I'm here, I'm taking control. I'm commanding, and I guess that's why some women think that it leans more unisex. Now, this one has notes of mandarin orange. There's lavender, black currant, pedigree, jasmine, lavender again. It's very lavender heavy. <laughs> There's orange blossom, Madagascar vanilla, cedar, ambergris, and musk. It's not the best performing on my skin. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm getting about five to six hours on my skin when I don't layer. When I layer, it's about seven seven and a half ish you know what i mean um but i just love the scent it's a different scent i love layering it with other fragrances as well it's definitely good to layer with so if you're someone that likes a scent that doesn't smell too feminine um you don't mind something that could possibly lean masculine on your skin then i feel like this is the one for you you definitely smell the lavender you're not going to get a lot of vanilla in this fragrance you're going to smell more lavender and orange blossom i love the scent of orange blossom so the two mixed together it's just so beautiful to me y'all and you're going to get a gorgeous bottle i mean look at this bottle no one beats this bottle it's so high fashion and so chic so this is the original ysl edp now after that they came out with the edt which i'll leave a photo up and the bottle is so much thinner and more sleek and the juice is a little bit more like pale pinkish a little bit um that one smells very similar to this just more light and airy you don't smell the lavender as much as you smell the lavender in the edp it's more light fresh and airy so if you're someone that likes a more light scent that you can wear in the spring and summer then that one i feel like would be for you do you need the edt and the edp absolutely not that's why i don't have it i was tempted because i love the bottle like i said it's more slim it's sleeker but i'm not even the type of person that likes a light airy scent you know what i mean because this one isn't giving me like super long powerful beast mode performance so i felt like this is light and airy enough for me <laughs> so after that they came out with the intense and y'all when i smelled the intense i was like okay Okay, YSL Libre, how could you make something so good even better? And they made it better, in my opinion, with the Intense. Now, this one has a more amped up vanilla note in it. Oh, 
now let me tell you something they all smell very similar okay you can tell they're flankers of each other but there's subtle differences in all of them and it justifies me having the intense and the edp now the intense is more amped up with vanilla so if you like that smell of vanilla and orange blossom and less lavender you'll love this one this one leans more feminine like i said if you love vanilla you'll love this this one opens up with lavender but don't be scared because you don't really smell the lavender that much there's mandarin orange bergamot lavender again i want to say the notes are actually the same in the um edp and in the intense i feel like they just added more of the vanilla and less oil of the lavender you know what i mean because it the notes are the same but they definitely smell a little bit more different this one smells of more vanilla it's more warm it's more cozy it can be worn in the fall and winter you can wear this one all year round as well but it has a more freshness because of the lavender where for me it's like a spring summer type of scent or when it's not too cold but this one you can definitely get away with in the fall and the winter so this is the intense in my opinion it is better than the original and if you're someone who wants more vanilla who wants something that smells more feminine and less lavender you should go for the intense now then i had the nerve to come out with the Le Parfum and y'all they really put their foot in this one I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I was trying so hard not to get this fragrance I was always smelling it like yeah I don't need it <laughs> yeah it's, it, I'm good I don't need it until one day finally I caved first of all I caved twice because I did purchase this fragrance from Macy's when they were having some type of a 15% off friends and family sale and I bought it and then I returned it because I was like, you know what? I have too many fragrances and I just want to enjoy what I have. I want to wear the ones I have because I'm always on here telling y'all, oh my God, it's life. It's this, it's that. And then I'm looking for the next one. I'm on to the next one. So I'm trying to just enjoy my fragrances and not purchase as many fragrances. If I do purchase a fragrance, it has to be like an absolute 1000% love or it just speaks to me so much or it smells so exotic it's so bomb that i need it you know what i mean because there's so many fragrances that smell good y'all are always telling me oh did you smell this it smells you know and i'm like yes i tried it i smelled it it does smell good but i feel like i don't need it you know what i mean because i have so many bangers in my collection that i need to wear but this one y'all when i smelled it i kept smelling it and i was like i have to i have to get it this has a saffron note in it y'all it's more spicy you definitely smell the vanilla, but it has a more leathery, saffron, spicy type of accord that has me. This has me completely. I love this. So this one opens up with ginger. There's saffron, two of my favorite notes. Okay, I love spicy ginger fragrances, and I love saffron in my fragrances. There's mandarin orange, there's bergamot, there's orange blossom, there's lavender, but you do not smell the lavender like how you smell it in the original. There's bourbon, vanilla, there's honey, there's tonka, and vetiver. I need to spray this one. Y'all, this right here is so beautiful. Ugh. Yes. You can tell it's YSL Libre, but honestly, it's so different to me, y'all. You can have the original, the intense, and the Le Parfum if you wanted to. You know what I mean? But if you only want to get one and you're like, AI, which one is the best one for me to get? I'm going to say the Le Parfum. The Le Parfum is better than the original and the EDT and also the intense. Although they're all beautiful and I love them all, this one i love a little bit more because it has more depth to it it has more going on with it oh it just smells like niche quality to me it doesn't smell like your typical regular designer fragrance none of them do none of them do actually you know what i mean but this one just smells more they just stepped it up a little bit more with this one now they better not come out with a fifth one because i don't care i don't care what it smells like i don't even want to smell it i'm good with the ysl libres okay i have all three bottles and they're all gorgeous they all have different hues as you can see um the original is a little bit more like lighter gold then the intense is more deeper and the Le Parfum is the deepest of them all. I'm good. I don't need any more Libres. They can come out with a whole new fragrance now. They don't need another flanker of Libre. So I just want to share with you 
something else that I purchased and that's the oil. So if you guys like layering, you need to get this oil. It smells amazing. It's very fragrant. It smells just like Libre, like the original Libre, but you can layer this with either one of the three or with other fragrances in your collection that have lavender or orange blossom. And I recently ordered the body cream <laughs> because YSL was having like a, it, it was either 30, 40 or 50% off during Black Friday or Cyber Monday. And I definitely ordered me the body cream to this because I just want to layer everything. I usually layer it with um, Fairy Tale by Bath and Body Works because it smells like Libre. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just get the, the YSL cream, especially since it's on sale. And um, yeah, you can layer the cream with the oil and the fragrance and get your whole entire life. All right, guys, that's the end of this very short video. I told you I was just running in and letting y'all know my thoughts on YSL Libre and it was a requested video and I hope I helped you. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what do you think about YSL Libre? Do you have all four of them? Do you have three? Do you have two? Do you have any of them? Let's talk about it like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.